it going? Welcome back to Jason's General. We're doing another OTJ. Currently in Platinum 3 with a decent win rate. Just got smashed though by some green rares as expected. But we are ready for more. We are ready for more. All right. Huh. This is the card that we just had. Pretty good. Pretty good in our last draft. Ooh, I might just go for the Armadillo, though. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Armadillo. Armadillo. I haven't actually played with this card. Not once. So, Armadillo. To start us off here. Rise of the Varmints. Okay, so we're just going to build the same deck that we always build. I like that. I really like that. So, we're going to just <laughs> go back. Go back to where we're comfortable in green, you know? Green, black, Golgari, Rise of the Varmints stuff. Probably. We'll see what happens, though. All right, um, Intrepid map. Servant. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go for the map. I think I like that. Just ramp it up. Bloodseeker is quite good too. Blooming Marsh, Naturalist. Um, obviously, Blooming Marsh is a decent pick. Whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under control, create a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to go for the naturalist here. Get things in the grave. And go from there. Pretty content with an alchemist here. Just stay in green. Just plot it up. It's just a 3-2 two for 2. Can't really complain about that. No reason to jump into another color yet. We do have map the frontier. so And we have armadillo. So fixing shouldn't be too hard going into pack 2. So if you open like a bomb... Rare, <clears throat> it's always an option. <laughs> hmm. Spells you cast from exile cost two less. Hmm, what do we want to do here? We can kind of go any direction we want. Target creature control gains hexproof. I might just take the blue card. Maybe we take the plot. I like I like hexproof though. I really like the hexproof here. Fake your own death is kind of fun. Varmint. Don't 
Don't mind varmint. Don't mind varmint. We could just take a de we could just take a desert. I'm gonna take a desert. <laughs> Helps us with a lot, like multiple ways of fixing. The armadillo can get any desert. The map can get any desert. Uh, servant's good now, I'd say. What do you think? What do you think? Another fleeting reflection. Target creature only has hexproof. Untap that creature until the end of turn. It becomes a copy of one up to one target creature. Sure. So we might be playing blue. Blue, black. Um... I want the I want the I want the guy, but I want the uh, the the guy who can put things in the grave. But I think tumbleweed rising is pretty good with our spinewood armadillo. I think having these deserts is going to be pretty handy going into the next pack. We can like splash blue for days and black potentially if we want. So I'm okay. I'm pretty good. Counter target spell. Maybe. Peddler. Yada yada. Okay, murder now. Oh, slingshot. I do love I do love me a slingshot. I do love me a slingshot. I do like me a murder too. But slingshot. Slingshot plus rise of the varmints. Hmm. I'm going to have to take the slingshot. I think it's just a really premium card. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be consuming ash now. Certainly. <clears throat> And this deck's starting to feel real nice. Non-token creatures you control have created a token that's a copy of target token you control to enter the battlefield. Or we just take this big old beater, beefer, this big old beaver. Don't mind that too much. It's not really like a grave Golgari card, but it's still a good card nonetheless. Hmm, throw from the saddle. Seems like the right move to me right now. I would like to get things in the grave, but... We'll see. I guess it's like not crazy to splash. Do some splash shenanigans. Lone Shark's kind of fun. We could just play it safe. Take the spider though. Uh, 
Um, I think I'm going to take the loan shark. Draw some cards. Bandit's Hall. Whenever you commit a crime, put a loot counter on it. Draw two loot counters. Draw a card. Let's take. I think we're just going kind of beat beat down. Like we could probably splash for sma savage smash. Just go beat down big beats. Varmint, skullduggery, dance to the mancy. I don't mind dance to the tumbleweed. Uh, I'm just going to take the, I think I'm just going to take the desert here. Desert seems cool. Being a common insurer and other creatures you control with power for a greater gain, trample and haste. I'm going to give this a shot. I think we're just going multicolor, like wild multicolor shenanigans with this one. Oko, Broko Oko. What is this? Destroy all creatures. Hmm. Oko at the beginning of combination turn. Oko that becomes a copy of target creature you control until that turn. So he has hex proof. Draw two cards. I think we just gotta go Oki here, right? Oki boy. I feel like we don't really want to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the Oko here. Yeah. We don't really want to be like putting guard cards in the. What am I trying to say? We don't really want to be uh, destroying all creatures. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, might even like red right now as a splash more than black. So I'm going to take another beaver. I feel like we're going big, big, strong. Whenever you come to crime, put a woman counter on this. This card's pretty good. This card's pretty good. Is this a reason to be in black? We only have consuming ash. Warner surprise. Um, I'm going to go with this Mourner surprise, I, I suppose. We're getting a little messy. Whenever you commit a crime, each opponent mills three. I like a fight spell. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, create a mercenary. Doesn't look like doesn't look like we're gonna get another fight spell. I could take the gardener. Our deck's a little bit confused about what it wants to do. I think. Are we going to get any other removal? Doesn't really seem that way. Blue, red.
I'm going to go for the blue red land here. Crossfire. We could play Krom. Every cast your second spell, you should put a one counter. Meh, maybe not. Um, some decent removal, I guess, with this trick shot. I'll take that. Thunder Salvo. Do we want Naturalist? I don't know. I kind of feel like I want like the counter spells, but I guess we are we we are where we are now. Take the skewer. Emerging haunt. Emerging haunting's okay. Three three in the air that can surveil. Decent two drop. Another trick shot, sure. This has been a weird one. It's been a pretty weird draft, but I feel like our deck is pretty good. We got a ton of deserts with no desert payoffs, really. But we got some big creatures. <laughs> Counter spell. What can we cut? What can we cut? Red, red, red. We got one, two, three really big guys. These also play well. Rise of the Varmints. And then we got a counter. Okay, a counter. What is going on here? T creature. All right, pretty heavy curve. Beavers. And we have hexproof, hexproof, counter, removal, removal. Savage Smash is good. Skeever's good. We could probably cut like. Keep, keep this. Cut Tumbleweed. Cut Failed Fording. Did I just, I just cut one of my creatures. All right. Um. Maybe we just cut Tumbleweed Rising and run 41. All right. Someone randomly just left some comment about try on halls and yoga. Okay. Uh, appreciate you, but no thanks. All right. Let's go yeah, we'll keep this one. Just play our alchemist down on turn two, I would imagine. I guess we're trading. I don't know if I really wanted to do that. But we're still in a decent spot. 
They don't have any. Like we have Ward 2, which is pretty significant. We'll go Desert Blue. Hey, what's up, Jack? How's it going? Yeah, we'll play our Mirage Mesa. Um, choose blue. Maybe hit their courser. Hey, appreciate you. All right, they don't get the cat. Can they cast it next turn or is it? Till your next turn. All right, fair enough. Let's go boom, blue. Um, I think we just run out our Savage Smash now and then next turn we can hold up Fleeting Reflection. So let's go boom, boom. Oh, we don't want to swing now. Why did I do that? Uh, shoot, I shouldn't, shouldn't have swung. Should have swung first, I guess. That was a misplay. Total misplay. Hmm. Six and two. I think we just go boom, boom. Six damage here, one damage here, or two damage. Swing for four. Hope they don't have some kind of trick. Form a posse. Alright. Be nice if we could draw a creature. We're just taking one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Forget about it. Take three. What is this? Oh. Everything gets plus one, plus one. I think that's fine. Let's go like this. Boom. Boom. They draw. And we'll just play the Lone Shark. Draw two. It's a four five. A little bit awkward. A little bit awkward here, but we can block one. So we'll take four. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, I kind of feel like I should have thought out my turn a little bit better. I don't know. This could be the death of us. Perhaps I made a bad judgment call. Okay. That. What in the world? What exactly? What are they doing here? Someone tell me. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Cool. I guess that's what I get for talking down about Boros in this format. We keep getting smacked around by aggro decks. Oh, one. I thought we even had a win. We didn't even have a win. Shouldn't have talked smack about the Boros decks because that was a crazy, crazy turn of events there. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. We're going to mulligan. <sighs> All right, we'll keep this one. Um, bottom. I guess the trick shot. We could go for a land and risk it. Nice. Okay, that worked out. <laughs> we went the risky route and it worked out. Rip our, our shock, <laughs> rip our lock pick, Sh slick shot lock picker, I mean. I think I need to hold up Ion Eyes here. Ion Eyes, Ion Eyes. That's good enough. Good enough target. Alright, Naturalist down, let's mill again. I think another green land makes sense. <clears throat> and I guess... I'll just swing for two. I think I'm just going to hit the bristle back. Kind of slow them down a bit. Too bad we didn't hit more creatures. Ooh. Uh, I guess let's just swing. 
trade. All right, in for two. It's not bad. I think we just go Beaver Town right now. Say go. We'll hold up. Uh, we'll hold up this Oko for another minute. No way. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, sure. Oko, Broko Oko, let's go. <laughs> okay. We put a counter there. Are they going to tap down? Hmm, so we just create an elk. I kind of feel like we just create an elk. So they're going to kill our thing, which is fine. This is going to die if they swing. Don't come looking for me. What happens if we just swing all? They block, block. We get in for three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, if we swing all, they could block. They're probably going to block Alchemist or the Elk. I guess they would block with the 2 3. Oh, what the heck? Hmm, okay. Block. Or block here. Block here. Block here. Block here. I don't know what wins us the game.
I don't think that's it. Still not terrible though. I felt like that made, kind of felt like that made sense. All right, they're gonna throw, sure. Okay, they're gonna swing for four. But again, what if we swing all? They We have four, they block one, block two. They take six. Block two, take six. That leaves us with three creatures. Plus four, Block, block, take six. Now we can surveil, they're down to four. That's a good card for them. Crazy how Dance of the Tumbleweed is actually just decent. Now we can start surveilling. What do we need to win? I guess some removal would be handy. That's okay. Hmm, what other removal spells do we have? What other removal spells do we have? I think we could do better. Target creature gains hexproof and untie that creature until the end of turn and becomes a copy of another target creature. No attacks for now. Wait a second. If they tap this down, we give this hex proof. No, I think we're good. We'll just pass. Say go. I feel like there might have been a line there, but. All right, pass the turn.
I don't think I'm gonna use my other. So we give hex proof. Surveil. I'm gonna surveil now again. Don't need that. Let's draw. And then we can pass the turn. There you go. Unfortunately, they keep getting card draw, which is awkward for us. <clears throat> You got a Drover, okay. All we need is Savage Smash. And we win. Oh, not anymore actually. Oh, that will do it though. Nothing has reach. Oh, they can't, they can tap us down though. Okay, um, let's go to combat. Do they just forget to tap down? Is that what happened? Okay. What to do, what to do, what to do. We got reach now. We just need one more mana. Let's see, what do they got? <clears throat> what do they got? Trample haste.
Damn, son. Um... Do we do that? I guess we can just do this. That's nine. Five, seven, nine. We get a bunch of treasures. Okay, let's say go. I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can do anything here. I think we might just be dead. What's the deal, son? What's the deal? What are they going to do? I think they're counting. They're doing the math. Maybe we actually just get them here. Does this do it? I don't think so. Because the trample damage doesn't get through. Yeah, the 
trample damage doesn't get through. No. Four, seven, nine. Ah. We tried. Not a great day for magic. Not a great day. Are we 0-2? Ugh. Horrible. Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Mulligan. Um... Okay, this is better, I guess. Okay. I'm forgetting what our deck is even trying. What is our deck doing? What is this deck? Is this deck even viable? Do we even know how to play magic? I'm just gonna get a. F I'm just gonna get a forest, and we can hold up ionize here. They're just going to pass? Okay. Move to combat. They got us big time there. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make us mill. Sure. Make this a three, a, a seven, five.
Go ahead and counter that. No reason not to. Not a very good card, but I think it's okay. And then I think we go Aloe. Oh, this has lifelink. Yeah, Aloe throw from the saddle. They're going to target us again. All right. Aloe. Throw. Play our Lone Shark. And we can swing for eight. I think that's okay. I think we did good. I think we did good. They're gonna draw maybe. Do they have anything? Do they have a creature they can play? Do they have removal? What do they have? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That's pretty bad. Wow. Oh, jeez. This is just not our luck right now. Double block. Okay. Get over for one. Let's play Emergent Haunt. And say go. They can draw and do some shenanigans. Hopefully they don't do anything too busted. I'm a little scared what they got on their side of the battlefield. They've also milled a significant amount of cards from us. Sure. Ooh. 
That's very good. So now we get a 3-3 three, three flyer plus a 6-6. Six, six. Or a bunch of 2-2s, two, I mean. Not a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> Hopefully they don't have like the minus one, minus one card. That would get us pretty good. Okay. Well, we're not discarding here. They're gonna draw, sure. So we can go. In for three. Trade. Environments. Oh, I meant to. Oh, I screwed up. I meant to um, scry there, but so be it. All right, we can get our environments back now. So even if they kill our thing, we're we're in a good spot. If they kill our. Uh, if they kill all of our two ones. We can still make a bunch more two ones. Oh, I should have hit the... Oops. Should have hit the 2-2. Two, two. Actually, that was just overall a little bit too hasty. Either way, let's swing in. Alright. <clears throat> block, block. Yeah, we... Well, we wouldn't have quite had the game, but... Oh yeah, we would have had the game. No, we would have got them down to one. Alright, this comes back, kills another thing. Sure. Why aren't they... Drawing cards. Block in for four. Okay, that's good. In for two. In for two, and we ping them for one. GG's. GG's. All right. It's been a rough day. A rough day for magic. One and two. Okay. Um, I'm okay with this hand. We'll start by choosing forest. With our desert here. Green. And we can play emerging haunt.
Love to see it. Love to see it. Hold up reflecting reflection. Ooh, awkward. All right, end turn. What do they got? What is this? Highway robbery. Highway robbery. What is this? As soon as the battlefield of a creature died this turn, create a zombie. Let's get him for six in the air. And we could just ping him for nine, but. Or for three more, but. They're probably gonna kill our haunting next turn. I don't know. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Oh, that's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna like hold up the fleeting reflection, I think, and just keep smashing him for three. I don't think they have any way to kill our three three right now, so they have no reach. So I think we just play alchemist, start paint, smash, keep smashing him for three, basically. Okay. If we ping for three, it brings him down to eight. We smash for three, it brings him down to five. <sighs> Lock picker. Let's just wait. We could also just counter now, I'm realizing. That's pretty good. Did they just choose neither of these? I guess this is fine. All right, I'm just gonna scry or surveil. I mean, I think land's pretty good. I think now we just ping for three, counter, get him for three. We're in a really good spot. Basically just playing mono burn at this point. Or burn, uh, mono red burn. Okay, no issues with that. Actually, we probably wanted to counter. I guess it doesn't really matter. No blocks. I just want to guarantee the win, you know?
Okay, let's hit him for one. Ping them for one, and then hold up Ionize for the finish here. <clears throat> I and I, I and I. <laughs> I and I's, I and I's. We got him. We got him. We've just been hovering around Platinum Tier 3. Super fun today. Super fun. Next game. Okay. Let's steer this ship around. This looks fine. We'll choose green. Obviously, opponent mulligans. Green. I don't even want to play. I want to keep the armadillo. So let's go like this. Go like this. We got two islands. Smucko, okay. Beaver. And I think we just start smashing in, like, see no reason not to. Hey, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? All right, let's get down our armadillo next. Armadizzle. I swear if they have a counter spell, I'm gonna lose it. Don't they? Arch. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke. Man, oh man. <laughs> uh, Arch may just charm. You have to be kidding me. All right. None of our spells are in the grave, which is super annoying. What an awkward game so far for us. I am not loving our situation. We got Archmage's Charmed and Limited against a deck with three colors.
and now we're just hitting all our lands, of course. These fleeting reflections are not s as sick as I wanted them to be. Okay, God, now we're racing. Let's go. We're actually getting milled out. All right, we're racing them in for seven. Hopefully we see something that's reasonable. Oh God. <sighs> All right, GG's. Today has been just a brutal day of magic. This sucks. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you like what you watched, if you liked watching us get absolutely slaughter fested today, or if you're watching this video, this deck was just a pile. But yeah, if you liked what you watched, Please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. If you're watching the stream, thanks for stopping in, checking it out. Deck was bad. Anyway, cheers. Bye.